Oh, right, right. That's what made me turn up. What's up, bro? I got What's up, bro? You got a question, my man? Man, I'm just reading. Okay, that's for you to read, too. You just yes, sir. Right. You don't know about it? right. We're going to people, man. We out here blowing the trumpet for people, man. That's right. You know, because this devil's really about to like come down on us hard. Oh, no, like, <laughs> yeah, always been here, man. Yeah, but the devil's about to come in. Yeah. I remember when you stole my devil. Yes, the devil's about uh, to come with weapons. He traded me. He's about to come with all kind of wickedness that he's been planning for years. He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's right. That's right. Man, look, we're about to break that down. That's right. That's oh, man, I know a little, I know a lot, man. I see, I see. You fool around with us, you're going to know a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we out here waking up what you already knew in the past. Yes, we'll remind you. Oh, I got a scripture. This will remind you. You know what I'm saying? Because the crowd created the popular belief. We were once kings, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's Psalms 87. We were righteous and, um, judges at one time, man. What was that? Psalms 87 and um, I can't remember, but we are hard. We are made in his image and we are made of God, so we are we are God. Made in their image. That's Psalms 82. We hey, are God. We are know, God. And you know what our sixes is? Yeah, we know what that's in the yeah. In my mind, what our sixes was. I got it. I'll come to the show. That's scary. That's part of it. Everybody got that's part of it. Um they said Revelation 13, bro. Mm -hmm. We'll start at Revelation 13 and 15. Oh yeah, and it goes that's where it starts about this. Oh, let me tell you about um, let me tell you about that Bible. In the beginning, the devil started as a um, serpent. That's how Paul put it out. Because I'm in Revelation, guess what he turned into? A dragon. Let me tell you something, brother. You wrong. Check it out. Uh -huh. That serpent was an actual man. He was an actual man. It's just a, what you want to call it, a metaphor? Metaphor yes. right here. It's a metaphor. It's like he was the, just a wicked man. Yeah, I like the Indian. He's a wicked man. He comes to you speaking smooth, yeah. deceitful. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the, the, that serpent, that devil, that man went to the woman because uh -huh. he knew he could fool the woman. That's why he didn't go to Adam. Hold on. He went to Eve. Okay. Hold on, hold on. What, did y'all have something? I didn't know. That's oh, okay, okay. That's more, that's more, that's more. I got free stuff. Hey, some down. some scriptures in the Bible are literal, literal. I mean, are literal. Yeah. But some of them speak in different like allegories. Right. A mystery. It's a mystery, you know. And you yeah. got to study to know that. You're in a line. You know, right. Just open your horizon. You talking right. about that snake? This is Back then, it wasn't a white man. It was just the same spirit as the so-called white man. Then, that serpent was one of those other nations. It's the same spirit as in Cain. Right. That's the same spirit. Cain, when Cain killed his brother. That's the same spirit as the white man. Right, right. You got something? John 3 8. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil was sinned from the beginning. This purpose, the Son of God, was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Right. That's what you was referring to in the book of Jesus. Right? Right. Well, that's what these churches do, man. They got the people thinking that it's a real snake. Now, when did you ever see? You ever seen a talking snake? No, 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 no. Now, let's get it real. Let's drink a little bit and then answer the question. Yeah. You still ain't going to see one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, but <laughs> the reason I got that is because, like, when you see a snake, a snake is a, is a lizard with no, with no legs. You know, it's only the same red time. But they had legs. Like, if you open them up, they still got legs. Right. So when I thought about it, and when I got the Genesis, I, I, I thought like the snake just got powerful. Yeah. Then became the dragon. Yeah. And that's well, when that Well, he did say in Revelation, he said that old serpent, that dragon. Right. That's it. That red dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That red dragon. Red dragon. The red dragon. And really, the red dragon uh, represents, like you said, Esau. 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 Or, and, and it was specifically talking about the Roman Empire, which is being reincarnated as America. America. Mm -hmm. You know, America is the Roman Empire reincarnated. The Roman Empire is Babylon. There you right, go. Yep, yep, there you yep. go. Hey. Bye -bye. That's right. That's Bye -bye. right. Bye -bye. Oh, man, I'm keeping that one. I got pastors all in the family. My mom was that pastor. Uh -oh. My father was a pastor. Uh -oh. His father was a pastor. He lost me there. My brother's a deacon. <laughs> so you know you're an Israelite? I know a lot about an Israelite. No, man. do you know you're an Israelite? Uh, pretty much, man, like, an Israelite is basically of the 12 tribes. Okay, let me ask you, what's your nationality? I'm black and brown, I'm, I'm, I'm basic. See, 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 black and Asian. see, oh, there's black. no such thing as like, I'm, I'm black, like, my, I'm, my mother's from here, and my father's from Barbados. Right, listen, there is no such thing as a nation of black or brown. There's the nations of Israel, and within Israel, there's 12 there's 12 tribes. There's 12 tribes. This is what the most high. He already named the white man. He's a, I've been talking to him a lot. Israel, the Mexicans. Israel, Israel, Israel. They're like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most stuff. Like, he's Honduran. Like, me and him talk so much every day. I learn Spanish every day. Right. And, like, I broke it down to him. Like, bro, right. you are kids. Right, right. He'd be like, he'd be like, and they used to try and say negro. I'm like, no, 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 call me a little Right. Call me brown. Because, right. like, you know, their language offends everybody. Right. So, the more I talked to him, he said, we was talking about history. And I'm like, he said, you know, know your history? I said, I know a little bit. He's like, you were here before the whites. I'm like, yeah, the Africans, 700 meters, 700. Yeah, but we're not African, though. Right. Nah, we're not African. Uh -huh. We made a, we, some of the slaves were snatched out of that land, but we're not, the ones that were snatched out of land weren't African either. See, there ain't no nation of Africa. Hey. You know, that's a white man's name too. Africa's a white man's name too. Yeah, Africa's a right. Latin word. Another right. thing is Within white. that whole continent, there's different nations of people. Right. Different nations of people. But just because they're brown skinned, don't make us all them our brothers. Because we are not brothers. We can filthy, camp, uh, uh, Ethiopian, creepy opiates. Or them people from filthy ass motherfuckers in the sedan. Them is our enemies, man. We've been right. fighting them people for. Oh, yeah, ain't everybody got them. When it comes to the scripts, we've been fighting them people for years, man. All through the fight, man. <laughs> Well, that's another enemy of ours. Yeah. That's Heathens. another hey, enemy. Heathens. Oh, right. Heathens. Now listen. All right. Listen. Now let me ask you this. Go ahead. All right. It was, all right. Um, who was the great king of Africa? Y'all know who I'm talking about. He was very famous for his war, and it was called the, uh, the Horn. Uh, Talking about Alexander. Uh, you talking about Alexander? Shaka, the Zulu, horn? No, not Alexander. Zulu. 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 Zulu was trying to keep the Europeans away from that gold. Right, they were trying to find out about that gold. Those are yeah, Zulu, Zulu. Zulus are our enemies too. What? Yeah, hey, those hey, are hey, enemies too. Can I ask you this real quick? And uh, they were some Zulus with a bunch of fucking faggots, man. They used to fuck yeah, the Shaka, I thought it was the yeah, Turks. No, no, the, the, the Zulus, they used to fuck the warriors. They used to fuck each other. Shaka Zulu made them have sex with each other. Yeah, they said, to boost morale. Yeah, he said to, to boost, boost morale, morale and camaraderie. Boost camaraderie. <laughs> That's what they say. I got another question. Right. Okay, here it is. The song called Niggas. They call them African Americans. Why would the Africans have kids over here? They don't consider they consider, consider Africans still. Yeah. Or why the top, Asians, they don't become Asian Americans. It's a, it's a deceit. The white men deceive. That's, that's that brainwash. It's that brainwash. Why, nigga, why, why, why we Negroes become nigga Americans? Americans. We become yeah. nigga Americans, Afro Americans. Hey, I everything can't. that we're not. I got, right. Check this out. This is Galatians <laughs> 1 and 26. Uh -huh. Let me read this real quick. Uh, <laughs> but did. Jerusalem, which is yeah, above, is free. We're from Jerusalem, which is the mother of us all. So we're not from Africa. You know how they oh. say Africa, the motherland. We're not from Africa. Africa. And it's not yours, so Africa, good, the man. motherland. We're from Jerusalem, you know, and we're going back there. Right. You know, one day you're gonna wake up. We're gonna be. The, you're gonna be. You're gonna have a hundred wives, if not more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they, hey, hey, they're gonna know more hundred wives. They're gonna be like, sure. get out, nigga. They're gonna call like, they're gonna be having like, we got to We just meet here every Monday. This we had. Every Monday. <laughs> every Monday we get out here. We out here at three o'clock. <laughs> Every Monday. I'm off every Monday, so every Monday I'll come in. We ain't got no excuse then. We ain't got no excuse then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just come in here and talk to y'all, bro. Every Monday at 3 o'clock. Right here. Hey, you just been marked by the end of the time. I got a preset. It's like. hold you to your work. I got to go, y'all. Man, nice meeting y'all, man. Hey, y'all smart. Yeah. Hey, we're going to get you there, too. He's coming out. I'll get it when I can. He cool, though. Yeah, he cool, though. <laughs> well, for the just for the cat, I was gonna tell him he had to go, but because we always tell people, we tell people that the serpent was actually a man, and in scriptures, because right here, like Psalms 58 and 4, it says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop at their ear. And here's another one, Psalms 140 and 3. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. So that, that's why I like the, uh, the native, so-called Native American Indians who are the tribe of Gad, they called the white man a, you know, a fork-tongued serpent because the serpent was a man. That's why in the book of Revelation, it referred to the Roman Empire as that old serpent, the devil, the dragon, the great red dragon. I'll give him time, huh? Oh, they'll like all give him time. Most time like that, that's when I get a voice that last week. Most time will make you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. will make you. If yeah. the Spirit dealing with you, you will receive that message as, as a warning or you will be running to you so for Percocets to numb you so you can, you know, stay out the 
Once you, once you get, once you, once you hit his throat, you're never getting marked. And all y'all people out here have been marked, man. We out here waiting for up. We out here telling you that. So called, you're called Christ in the Bible is not coming for the world, man. You're only coming for the nation of Israel. So if you're not part of the 12 tribes of Israel, you're going into slavery, according to the Bible. Yeah. The one y'all call Jesus, he don't love everybody. Correct. That's, that's, that's the biggest lie ever told on the earth. Oh, Jesus, y'all love everybody. Y'all preach a hate. There's no hate in the Bible. I'm going to get a scripture to prove that. They say, oh, I stay. All right, bro. You see the boys get raped last Saturday? They out of there. They got raped. Now they going to some insurance bowl or something. You know who we're talking about? I know they're going to get beat. Yeah. Shoot their shepherd. Yeah, my man. Hey, they're going to be in the top four this time. Michigan. Michigan. Oh, they can play Michigan State. Yeah, Michigan. Michigan State was all right, though. They just beat, they just beat, uh, they just beat somebody. Who cares? Go ahead. <laughs> Psalms 5, it's about the hate thing. 5, 5. It says, Psalm 4. But thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So, hey, that's a good one. The most high hate all workers of iniquity. And since y'all don't know what words mean, iniquity means evil. That means sinful. Okay? And the most high see, he said he hates all workers of iniquity. And that's all you see out here is iniquity. And nobody's keeping the commandments. Especially, you know, the Lord gave us more than ten commandments, but y'all can't even keep the ten commandments. You can't even keep one. They break the first commandment. Just keep one. Just the, keep one. I got, I got a precept for you. I got something too. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers. Oh, that's the biggest co commandment of them all. Y'all love breaking the thou shalt not commit adultery commandment. Okay, this is a, a nation of adulterers and adulteresses. You know what I mean? That, that's, hey, that's why America's called what? That great whore. That great whore. That filthy fucking whore. With that stinking asshole. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. All right, man. And then page is sticking on me. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Does that sound like God loves everybody? I don't know what Bible y'all been reading. I mean, that's clear. The Bible's clear. There's, there's only one interpretation, and that's the right one. That's your interpretation. Got a for that. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I come to destroy the laws or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For rightly I say to you, to heaven and earth pass. So did heaven and earth pass yet? Nah, bro. <laughs> not one jump or one title shall do. Tittle. One tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. You know what I mean? When you cross all, you dot all your eyes and cross all the teeth. That's all that means. Go ahead. To all be fulfilled. Go ahead. Whoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments, it shall teach man. So you can eat pork. Right. You can be a homosexual. Uh, you don't have to keep the Sabbath. You, you can ha have multiple husbands. Oh, it's okay. You can get a divorce. We, we weren't getting along no more, so we got divorced. You know, we just need time apart. That's adultery. Well, and what's the punishment for adultery, court? Hey, get the scripture. Uh, I'll get it. You already got a scripture on deck. I'm going to get the commandment. He shall teach man. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So they gonna be still going to be Israelites. Yeah, they still going to be they Israelites. They're still going to be good, filthy rich. But at the same time, when they see the elect men that were going to work, and that spirit is going to be in them, when they see the men of the world, Lord, that was going to work in truth, they're going to... Feel bad, man. Hey, that's that Daniel 12. Right. IUIC teaching that they can separate husband and wives and give the wife to another man. That's, that's nasty. Crazy, that's man. Na I see. That's I met. Crazy, I, when I was I was on my way way to work the other day. I see IUIC teaching out on Hamilton and Livingston. Like ain't nobody even over there. <laughs> I mean, I like on the corner. Not not even on the corner. They like on Livingston. I don't think they. I'm not even sure there's a sidewalk. Is that still there. white? 
Yeah, that's, well, that's no, no, no. Whitehall ends a mound. That is Columbus. But they got, man, they a joke. You ain't gonna see them out here when we're out here. If IUIC sees us, they gonna run for cover. They, they gonna get on, they be like, uh, what's that movie? They be like, Code Red, Code Red. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get that commandment on adultery real quick. Because uh, what did the Lord say? The one y'all called Jesus. He said, uh, this is a generation of adulterers and adulteresses, a generation of serpents and vipers. And that's all you see in America, especially, is that spirit of adultery. You know, women can just have as many men as they want, get as many divorces as they want. And it's legal. You know, a woman commit adultery and she get rewarded with alimony, child support, food stamp. She get half of every. She get more than half. And, and don't have a good paying job. They'll give a hundred thousand. If you are an athlete, a famous athlete, if you, I feel sorry for you paying child support. You gonna have to give her a hundred thousand. That's wicked. All that money they still make. I got us. I got that scripture. That's his job. That's, his movies. That's all those movies. Every you know, movie you watch. Tyler Perry's made right. set up a and what does he do? He dressed as what? A, 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 a trainer. What well, just, man, all that, the, uh, the dirt is coming out on Hollywood. We, we've been telling y'all for years, if you want to be a famous Hollywood actor, you, you, you got to, what's that? You got to sit on the casting couch. You, you got to. Take an L. You got to do something with Harvey Weinstein. Man or woman. You want to make it be a famous rapper. If you want to be a rapper. I try to watch my language, you know. I don't want to get too, uh, all the ladies out here. <laughs> you don't want to offend them. You don't want to offend them. If you look at Harvey Weinstein, that's a nasty looking dude. That's a filthy looking Jew. That's a nasty looking guy right there. And, and every actress that ever worked for what, Miramax? He done been up in him. <laughs> look. He done went up in men and women. In men and women. That's why I came out with Kevin Spacey. Oh, beloved Kevin Spacey. Oh, he done raped. He done raped all the all the little boys in Hollywood. John Travolta. Oh, uh, John Travolta. He's got lawsuits pending right now for sexual harassment of men. Oh, okay, came out. What's that? Another actor that came out? A big actor. Uh, I can't even think of his name off the top of my head. There's all the dirt's coming out of Hollywood. Oh, uh, uh, the dude that played the wrestler. Uh, uh, Mickey Rourke? Mickey Rourke's coming out by him being a faggot, too. Oh, but That's we've been known that. Though. That's been old news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me get this. I'm going to get that adultery law, Mickey though. Mickey Rourke, love this. Hey, I might as well get adultery and the homosexual scripture. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. That's right. Why do you got to read that scripture to defend these hoes? All right. Hey, that's what the Bible says. In the Bible, that's the law of the land. That's the law of the universe. Whether you want to believe it or not, it don't matter, because that's the law. That's the Most High's law. The Most High law trumps the laws of man. They gave that to us on Mount Sinai when the Lord came down on the chariot. You know what I mean? Uh, Y'all got, you go ahead with this. Woo! There's a burning fire out here, hold up. You got something? Come on. John 14 and 21. Jeremiah 6. Oh, that's a good one. He that has my commandments, and he is the he is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved to my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Hey, that's a good one. Right. If you don't love the Lord, man, you're going to you know, try your best to keep those commandments. You don't, you don't want to be a, you know, a filthy bastard going up at, uh, having sex with your neighbor's wife. I mean, that's wickedness, man. Yeah, man, that's nasty. He said, he said, he said, you love me, the father, you love you. So obviously, the 
obviously, obviously the thing is, if you don't know the son, then you probably don't know. That's wrong. You said that. That's wrong. And like we all, like I just said, uh, the Lord continually called y'all adulterers and adulteresses. That was, that was one of his main gripes with y'all. Y'all was a bunch of adulterers and adulteresses. And also, like, like, you, like I said, you love me, you love me, like, you know, like, you know, Go ahead. But it said, uh, like, why, why, uh, like, because the Lord made you, right? So, He made your body, so, the scripture says your body's not your own. So, it says, honor your family, your body, or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, 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 say, you if your friend gave you something for a gift, you don't try your best to give you know, take care of it. Take care of that gift. Like somebody comes to you and asks, hey, you can have that. But no, this is a gift. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's your body. So you don't take care of your body. Like, you know, it's not your drugs. You have to get home and You don't take care of your shit. Here you go. Luke 6 and 46. And why call me ye, and why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? <laughs> yeah, why do you... Why y'all say loud and loud at Jesus that y'all don't listen to none what Jesus said? Don't listen to a thing he said. No. Not, not a single word. Y'all ain't got none of it right. Said, uh, what's that? What they lips they honor me, but what they heart they far from me. That's right. So the scriptures break down. The scriptures, <laughs> scriptures break down. Prophesizing is one percent act. And what? Because he, he, he know us, our wickedness, man. He know us being stiff-hearted, headed, hard-headed, you know. He know, he know all that. Man. Now, why do you think the Most High got us out here? That's right. To let y'all have it. I'm so confused. I thought America, uh, God we trust in. They, uh, God fearing, but they, they, they ain't keeping none of the laws according to the Bible. There's no Sabbath in America. There's no Sabbath. There's, there's nothing in America, there's nothing that America's doing according to the Bible. Actually, they're going against the Bible. Contrary. Hey, hey check that it out. Y'all love that Constitution. The first amendment of the Constitution says you can worship whatever God you want. Mm. What does the first commandment say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's proof right there this is the kingdom of Satan. Mm. America, we always say that America was founded by a Freemason. George Washington was a Freemason, a devil worshiper. Thomas Jefferson was a Freemason. Think about it. Ain't that kind of funny uh, how it says you can worship any God, but then first law says you should have no other. You see how the fuck the white man is? He's the fucking devil. When did, when did uh, 1984 make the year of the Bible? Yep, Ronald Reagan said it. Reagan, year of the Bible, and made the Bible the law of the land. The law of the land. That's what he didn't know. So. He was just trying to please his. uh. He's being political. Yeah, that was just politics. He had to please the Bible belt and all that. Cause you know you got a lot of so-called Christians in America, so they gotta pretend like like Donald Trump. Donald Trump gotta pretend he's a Christian, you know, you know, cause cause the so-called right wingers they all claim to be Christians, so he's gotta pretend he's a Christian, you know. It's all bullshit. So here it is. They say the white men brainwashed niggas into believing in the Bible. <laughs> That's, that's fucking the white man don't even look, he don't even he don't even believe in the Bible. So why we brainwash you? Because he don't believe in it. They, they do say it's hero for the Yeah, if they was trying to brainwash you with a Bible, why don't they have the Bible in the schools? They can they, they no Bibles allowed in the school. You know what I mean? I mean they, they teach you about those Greek gods in school. They teach you about Zeus in school. I'm saying again, I was in a Middle school was. I was in class, and it was they, they. They mainly talk about Egyptian gods. They 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 would go for fucking months or whatever in history class and in a uh, major art for some they fucking shit. Yeah, but then when, I, when we got to so called Jesus, I'm telling you, it was like a little small ass paragraph. <laughs> and we just, and we went, it just it was, it was done over. with that. Like damn, <laughs> it was over. they turned all the Greek gods' name. They made us do uh, fucking homework on it and everything. Yeah, we did a whole thing Dude, on the Trojan War. They taught us about the Trojan War, but they didn't teach us about the Exodus. You know what I mean? They ain't, 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 no, ain't going to mention no King David. That can put the spirit on you, boy. You be ready to go to battle. <laughs> but the, but the so-called white means a God-fearing man, and America's a God-fearing man. Good God. Man, Good God. America's a giant pile of shit. That's what America is. Jeremiah 6 and 17, also, I said, Watchmen over you, saying, Hearken. Not to the sound of the trumpet. Not, not these churches. Not these churches talking about us. It's talking about us, the prophets that's out here putting in the real work. 
Prosperity, brother. Prosperity, brother. Prosperity. Hey, we, we, give, we giving it to y'all raw, you know? We ain't come, yeah, we ain't coming out with no prosperity, because why? Why would we lie to you? You're not going to be prosperous in America. All, all them churches saying you're going to be prosperous, they're lying to you. No, you're going to stay poor. You're going to live in the gutter. You know what I mean? You going Until America's destroyed, you ain't going to have nothing. That's a fact, Jack. You're going to stay poor your whole life. You're not going to move up that economic ladder. You, you're going to climb that ladder and it's going to start breaking. You're going to fall and crack your head. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what they want to do. Yeah, man. We're going to tell you the truth. As long as we living in America under this devil, you ain't going to have shit and you ain't going to be shit. That's a fact. Right, I mean, we just keeping it real. But after the day, they don't give a fuck. Because what happens when Jake does get a little money? They send the IRS after your ass, man. You don't keep it too long. You don't spend it. You going to buy a whole semi truck in Newport, man. <laughs> hey. I like your boy. <laughs> hey, hey, man, fuck that money, man. Old truck of Newports, man. I got a brother that got new motherfucking Nick. Wait a minute. LeBron James boys, man. One of his boys, he gave a bunch of money to. He got, he went to jail. For him. Took the money, bought some kilos of cocaine. I can't remember his name. He was just one of the examples. Right, there was a few of them that got the, the player, the motherfucking football player, basketball player, Made it rich, and he looked out for the boys, like his boys that he grew up with. Al Iverson, one. It was a bunch of them. Oh yeah, a, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, a whole line of them. But they take the money and go buy dope, man. They come, they trying to blow up. You know? Yeah, a lot of athletes do buy dope, and they become big Stupid, dope dealers. Uh, that's your boy from the Cowboys got caught with like 500 pounds of weed or something. The lineman, yeah. Newton, what's his name? Nate Newton. Or something.